Hello friends, it's Carla back today and we are looking at a new tonic release. Uh, it's a new stamp set with dyes and it's called Good Times Ahead. So it's very exciting. It's um, I'm very excited about spring right now. We've still got snow on the ground. Um, it's February so um, anything with sunshine and rainbows I'm super excited about. So I had a lot of fun playing with these stamps. I'll give you a look at the stamp set here. So we've got some really pretty wreaths. There's a round wreath and a heart wreath. Um, we've got rainbows. So there's this really cute rainbow with the hearts around the outside. And then we've got the rainbow coming out of the sunshine and a little cloud there. Uh, we've got the full sun and this little face can go on any of the suns or whatever you would like to put that cute little face on. We've also got this half sun here. Lots of really fun sentiments. You're doing great. You're amazing. Sending good vibes. I think whoever gets these cards is going to be really excited and they're very uplifting. And then the die set so we've got the full sun. Uh, we've got this little circle. Circles are great for anything. So you can even use this to make like a little shaker hole in your project. We've got the main, all the main um, dies. We've even got some of these little, this little word bubble that you can put some of those sentiments in. We've got a little banner die, and of course you can use those with any of your stamp sets. And let's see here, we've got this little one that's like a label. So here's this little label, and this would be great for anything. But of course, those larger sentiments will also fit inside there. And then with the wreaths, you can either cut them out around the whole wreath, and leave them like that or you can cut out the center as well. So with those center parts cut out you can see how fine and detailed those are or you could leave it in and have um, the inside not cut out. This would also make a really cute shaker I think. There's the heart one and here is the round one and I really love the detail that they've added with those dies. I started off making these cards with some pattern paper from my stash and basically I kind of arranged the base in a similar way. I put a layer of striped paper down and then I found different dies in my stash that um, would fit on the background and color that coordinated with the background. So this one's blues and greens and so on. And then once I had my backgrounds down, then I could go ahead and layer on my colored projects. So I stamped these on watercolor paper. This is the Craft Perfect watercolor card. It's a really nice thick watercolor cardstock. I colored these with the Nouveau watercolor pencils. These pencils watercolor beautifully. They're so nice and smooth. And we've got lots of different colors here. There's five different color packages. So you could either just stick with one color if there's one set that you really like. Um, I decided they that I really really liked the way that they worked and so I decided that I would um, put them all in my collection. So we've got the elementary mid-tones and I just used I used uh, watercolor pencils for all of these images and just chose colors that I liked within the packages. So there's the elementary mid-tones, there's the pastel highlights, so these are more like a pastel colors. Then we've got dark shadows. We've got brilliantly vibrant. 
and we've got the hair and skin tones. Really awesome. And there's those colors. So I chose from those and what we'll do is I will give you an idea about how to do some basic coloring um, in a minute. So let's kind of look at this close up. So here, this is a tonic dye in the background, this yellow one, this one here, and I used the little rainbow with the hearts and I watercolored it and die cut it out. I've got the sunshine, I added the little face on there because I think faces are so cute. I gave him some little rosy cheeks and added some gel pen just to highlight that. And then here's that little word bubble. I stamped that on some pattern paper and stamped hello from the stamp set. And then watercolored this little piece of watercolor paper and cut it out with that heart. So that is the first one. And here's that mini heart, which I think is so adorable. The mini heart that I also watercolored and cut out. I've also got some um, crystal drops here. I have the gloss crystal drops and this is dandelion yellow and then this one is carnation pink so I use those on there to act like an enamel dot and I put some glitter drops on the little hearts and for that one I used white blizzard which is my favorite favorite. It's translucent and it has those really beautiful bits of glitter in there and it almost looks iridescent when you put it on. So I put some on in various places. For this one here we've got our layers again of the dyes. This top die is also a tonic die and I have the heart which I colored in pinks and greens. I put various dream drops on there. Dream drops are really pretty. They're iridescent. And let's see. I have the Gold Lux Dream Drop. And you can see these really beautiful little tiny sparkly areas. And they go on very nicely. So even though that's a super tiny area, it went on really nicely. The fairy wings is the purple. And I have Nouveau inks that I used for stamping all these. You can buy the ink cubes in various ways. I use shamrock green for this, and I have the little packs of three. Here I use the Moroccan teal for stamping, and I've got the sentiment sending good vibes. This one here is a tonic dye as well. There's so many beautiful dyes in the shop um, and getting a, an assortment of dyes that you can just use on your background um, is something that you're going to use over and over. It came, it comes with this inside dye as well that you can put on or leave off or you can create a frame. And I just added some pattern paper from my stash. Then this I colored again with the watercolor pencils, added the white blizzard glitter drops on there and added the Nouveau drops on that I used in that last one. The dandelion yellow, carnation pink, and again the white blizzard. And then this one here I used pinks uh, these were just dyes from my stash and then I colored this pretty wreath all in rainbow colors. I stamped in the center, you are amazing. So I've got the raspberry smoothie ink that goes with my pink. And inside I just added lots of different colors of those drops. So I have ripened pumpkin is the orange that's a crystal drop and then I've got 
some enchanting pink that's a glitter drop you can see some of that purple here and that purple was actually the crystal drop French lilac and then I have a little bit of a darker purple the plum pudding these are all such fun names and then I have a blue velvet evening it's a glitter drop that I used in the middle of the orange this would make a really nice set even though everything's different it's kind of the same similar concept for these cards and I would probably put them together and give them in a set if I was giving a teacher gift or something then I have two uh, similar cards that I created with some fun shimmer powders and we will also see how these work and I'll give you an idea of how beautiful they are so I made my background again with that watercolor cardstock the craft perfect and you can see how beautiful that is and the shimmer powder really has a really gorgeous shine so I felt like this mixed media background worked really lovely as well with these stamps so for this we've got the floral little floral um, stamp and then I've tucked in the greenery there the little leaves I used that label die and the label die is cut out with the pearlescent card it is really beautiful and has a really shimmery finish on that and I just stamped the you're doing great and then added these single flowers down here on the bottom so it just has a really beautiful look to it and you could give this for anything it could be you know a congratulations card you could have a happy birthday message inside lots of options and then we've got a hugs card here and I love the way this looks with the sunshine peeking in the back again I use lots of those glitter drops and crystal drops just to accent the flowers and I've got that heart die right, that goes with the rainbow heart here's a look at the rainbow heart I didn't end up using it but it is the same size the die and I just stamped hugs again with that pearlescent card and layered on some of the flowers and some of the leaves. I decided to uh, grab my planner. This one here is a, it's called Daphne's Diary. It's um, from the UK and it's, I love using this planner. So it came with the colors for this week and I decided to grab some inks in colors that would go. I have colored pencils, so these are a little bit different than the watercolor pencil. These are just a classic color pencil. Um, they color beautifully, and there's a couple areas I'll color here, and just to give you an idea of how they work, I just have two packages of these. I also love these little tins that they come in. So I went through, I grabbed some inks. I've got Roomba Red, Rich Rosewood, Hawaiian Sunset, Samoan Sun, Dried Oregano, and Soft Suede. And I stamped all those fun little images and sentiments from this set. Um, I think that these are really an uplifting feel to them. And so this was really fun stamped in the planner. So you can see that I've got good times ahead and I stamped those little shine marks. I've got the arrow, which of course is really great for planners. I stamped the leaves. I love that you get the leaf going both ways. So this one here goes the other way. And then I've got stay strong and that will be, um, I'm going to the gym that day, so I felt like that was a great message. That heart as well would be great for bullet points or just to add in. And then I've got the little flowers from the set. They just fit in so perfectly 
with this page and because the colors match it just really all coordinates. I added a little bit of washi tape from my stash and I've got the sunshine here at the bottom with the word love and then if you flip it over I stamped that rainbow with the cloud so I didn't stamp the full sunshine and that just gives you an idea that you can stamp partial stamps as well so the rainbow with the cloud and the colors that match these pages and then on this side the end of the week I have um, the gym again so an arrow going to that and um, my husband's birthday and then I've got some more flowers you're doing great and some things that I don't want to forget for the week and then you are amazing and I stamped that with the brown I've got the little flower there and the heart so I just I felt like this stamp set really worked with my planner I love using small stamps that you might get in a planner and it just really makes your supplies go even further. You have them already. Um, you might be doing a planner already, so why not use them? You could do similar in a scrapbook uh, layout and you could stamp them on, either stamp them on paper and have them cut out and then use them the same way you would use as stickers on your page. Or you, know, you can stamp on sticker paper as well and color those. So just to give you an idea of how lovely these pencils work, let's zoom in a little bit here. So I stamped this in the dried oregano ink and I really didn't spend too much time coloring. I just want to give it a little bit of color I also decorate my calendar so um, and that's more with family things I try to keep this planner for stuff that's just for me so when it comes to this week I will probably um, write in what we did for family day um, you know or things that I don't want to forget or I may go back and add some photos that kind of thing so I colored the base green and then I grabbed a darker green and I'm just adding some shading and you can see you wouldn't have to but it doesn't take long and then you just get a really beautiful leaf. So this set here is the dark shadows and then I even just go in and I just have a gel pen and just add a few little gel pen dots and details. And here we have this flower. So I would go in, this one is the pastel highlights. So I'm going to give you a look at how these beautiful watercolor pencils work. Again, I'm using the Craft Perfect watercolor cardstock. And I'm just going to color the flowers in kind of a rainbow assortment, but you could color, you could do them blues would be really pretty. 
um, and there's lots of greens in there to work for your leaves, which is really nice. So I have the elementary mid-tones. So I usually just have a piece of paper towel or a tissue that I can just dab my water brush on. This is just a regular water brush. And we can start off by coloring directly on the paper. So I've stamped and you don't have to be exact. It's the paper is a little bit textured, which gives it a nice Nice effect. that the base of our wreath, the flowers are done, then we can go back in and start adding some shadows. So you just want to pick a color that's a little bit darker than one of the colors you used. So for the yellow, um, let's see here, I could go with an orange or a light brown. Um, this color here, this is from B hair and skin tones. Uh, this would work well and I just want to pick up some of the color. So this is the way I like doing it. So I just rub my brush over the tip and then that's when I'm going to come in and just go around the edge. Now if I feel like I need a little more water I'm gently going to squeeze my brush just to get it a little bit wet and then I can come in and spread this out. And then I can just let that dry and I've got that shaded look in there and you can tell it just adds a really nice shadow. Again, with the leaves, I would go in with 
any of the greens that I wanted to use. centers and the little dots we don't really need to add anything because we're going to use our Nuvo drops and I'm just pulling out some colors that I feel like would match I've got the carnation pink here This is the dandelion yellow. Make sure to let them dry. Give them lots of time to dry after you get this on. If I was die cutting this, I would die cut it out first. And this one is one of the dream drops. They're iridescent. It's called Indigo Eclipse. And then I have the White Blizzard Glitter Drops. So here's a look at our beautiful watercolor. And the last thing that I wanted to show you is the shimmer powders. So here I have Lilac Waterfall, Green Parade, Cherry Bomb, Sunray Crescent, and Fantail Firecracker. So I picked kind of the rainbow-ish colors that I had in my collection. Uh, you can do this a couple different ways. You can sprinkle them on and then give them a spray do that first. So here's a look. These are the two different ways that I watercolored. This one here is sprinkled on and you can see those pretty colors um, within the shimmer sprays. And this one here, I used my paintbrush and added them like a watercolor. So they're both pretty, but you do get two different effects. This one here, we're going to give a little spray on the background. We've got a little water. And then we can just go in and start tapping. And you can see those colors just spreading out. You, you don't ever want to squeeze these. You just, like I'm just tapping with the end of my finger. If you squeeze, you'll get a ton of um, pigment coming out. This gold in this Sunray Crescent is beautiful. And of course you can mix these colors. These are beautiful to color in images as well. If you make a watercolor to the side, if you put them on your mat and then um, add water to them and then color your image. So I'm just going to get lightly giving it a spritz to activate that color. We could set that aside to dry we could add more water and you can see what a beautiful effect that is. If I add more water then that's going to kind of pool out and mix colors or if I add less you're going to get that almost explosion of color. 
Then you can take your heat gun and you can dry that. Here's a look at our piece. We could go ahead and add more if we wanted a little more color in there. Um, we can also, you can see if you add a little bit, we'll add this purple. Some of the colors are a little lighter. So the purple I find is a little bit lighter and the pink is a really strong pigmented color. If I felt like I wanted a little bit more, I just add that on top. You can also use your paintbrush and swirl that around. And then you can go ahead and die cut your background and add, you can stamp directly on it. You can add whatever you like. If you wanted more of a watercolor background, that's when you can tap off to the side. So if we wanted to add our powder, I'm still not squeezing it because we don't need a ton. spray my background just to give myself a little bit of wetness to work with. this really soft watercolor background. You can see how different that is, but they're still both very beautiful. Um, I was also thinking that you could take the stamps, uh, the wreaths especially would be beautiful, to stamp uh, and heat emboss in clear or white and then watercolor over top of it and it would look really pretty as well. And you don't have to waste anything that's left over. You can just dab it up with a tag or with some extra watercolor paper. Hopefully this is giving you some ideas for using the beautiful Good Times Ahead stamp and die set. And I will add the links in the description below so that you can find them. There's a US store and a UK store, so depending on where you live. Thanks so much for hanging out, and I would love for you to like and subscribe. Have a great day. Bye.